digress a little bit. I, um, I, was, I used to be a tour guide, and I had a friend who was a tour guide in the Alps in Europe. And it got a bit boring being a tour guide, so he would point at a range of hills and say, that range of hills is known as the Sleeping Greek. Now, I've never been able to see it, but maybe if you stare at it long enough, you'll be able to see you know, a nose or a knee or something. And people would then take pictures of it, and he would quietly smile to himself. Um, he did that to the same group twice in a week in different places. And the lesson of that little story is that your stock in trade is actually your credibility and your reputation. And if you lose those, you've lost everything. Just imagine those of you who've had the experience of going to a restaurant and having a bad meal, you tell a lot of people. But if you start, and I think we do, we have a background of trust. We have a, an expectation that people will be honest with us. When you go into a store, you expect that someone will give you this right change, or at least intend to. Right? Many, many deals are done on a handshake. Um, but it, once you start to lose that notion of trust and credibility, you'll never recover it. Let, let me just uh, build on a couple of other things that have been said. One is, yeah, I know that you're going to leave school and most of you will have debts. However, what is your gauge for success when you go into business? That is, is it just making piles of money at the end of the day? And if that's your gauge of success, well, it's going to gear you to a certain attitude about what's right and wrong. Because a lot of things are incentivized that maybe you feel questionable about. Um, I would call that compartmentalization, as if you've got your regular hat and then you put on your business hat when you're at business and you can do various things that you wouldn't really feel very comfortable with. I think if integrity means anything, it means that you have one hat throughout your life. You're not constantly swapping hats and saying, oh yes, uh, it's business now, or it's my home life, or it's my romance life, and I've got a different set of behaviors for all of them. I think integrity means that you have to have the same set of values, whatever you're doing. And again, if you start to compromise those, then I don't think you're ever going to get them back. I'd also point out that just sociologically, if you think about it, what is a moral absolute? And what is common to all human societies, oddly enough, and it's slightly paradoxical, is the notion of contract. That is, I make a promise to you, and you fulfill it. Or I fulfill it, and then the thing gets reciprocated. So I leave, I say I'll leave a number of eggs under a tree, and you leave a number of oranges, and there's an exchange. If that notion of contracts breaks down, then we're not going to have any notion of community. So it's absolutely fundamental to human society that we have contracts. And that's a business term. But think of it and think of just how fundamental and basic that keeping up with contracts is going to be throughout your life. 